Okay, now today I would like to make a teapot with a sideway handle. The handle is from the side. So uh, basically you need to make a lid, a body, a spout and also the handle. For making something with the lid, I usually make the body first and then um, according to the body, the opening, I decided uh, how wide the, uh, the lid will be and also how big the, the uh, spout will be. So I'm squeezing here, use my finger nail, so this is approximately where I'm going to cut it. And for the uh, sideway handle teapot, I usually don't like to make it too big. Uh, it's because the way you are holding the handle uh, shouldn't be too heavy. So uh, I like to make the uh, sideway handle keep it a little bit smaller. And I also like to make the uh, uh, opening a little bit smaller so that the uh, tea, the water is containing inside. So when you pour the water, if you have an opening wider, the water is easy to come out. So you want to always contain the water inside. So make uh, the shoulder and this part a, a rim a little, make the rim a little bit smaller. Okay, now before I cut it, uh, I like to also measure how wide the lid should be. the uh, body make and then I'm going to make the lid so 
this lid is going to be upside down, meaning this part is going to be the nut. So I will trim the nut. So since I'm making a nut at this section, so I could make this part a little bit smaller. And uh, also make this part a little bit thicker, a little bit wider, thicker here. Basically you are making a, a shallow bowl shallow bowl like that and uh, dip the rim section a little bit thicker so that you will be able to uh, reserve it for the gallery and uh, I usually have my finger there and then the index finger to kind of squeeze okay, the roughly shape of the gallery um, before I to further I like to check the uh, the width so this is a little bit white already so I could squeeze a little bit more clay on the outside using this the wooden rib you want to find the one with the 90 degrees okay sharp 90 degrees so I'm gonna use the uh, 90 degrees to squeeze the gallery let's double check okay still needs to go in a little bit First, push down, and then I could use this to squeeze the clay, get it in. Okay, so it's about the size, right size. Now all I need to do is clean up. Finish up. And I usually leave this part a little bit of an angle, a little bit slanted, so that meaning this part is a little bit smaller and the, the base, the bottom part is a little bit wider, so that it's easier for the lid to drop in to the, uh, the body. Alright, and then uh, this part here is maybe a little bit hanging out a little bit too much. First I'm going to thin it down. And then uh, I can use a needle tool. Uh, I'm using my number 10 to uh, chop off so that it doesn't hang too much. So hold my tool very tight and slowly and just cut it.
thought like I told you that I I'm going to make this part for the knot so I can make it a little bit smaller. And if you like you can trim a little bit trim the clay up a little bit. So now it looks more like an upside down lid. And I can just cut it here. So that's the lid. parts for the sideway handle teapot the body the lid and the spout and the handle making a spout you first want to make it look like a small tiny small bottle a bottle shape And you have to consider the size of the body so you don't want to make it too, too big. Shape like a bottle, and since I keep on squeezing it, so this part here is going to be a little bit thick, okay, a little bit too thick. So you want to thin it down, and the way I'm using it to thin it down is get a stick. Okay, you can use a pop popsicle stick or whatever. Okay, this kind of shape. And you're just going to insert, insert the uh, stick into the hole, and then uh, you are going to okay, lightly support it on the inside using. I'm using my thumb, okay, and thumb and push that the spout against the uh, stick to thin it down. So squeeze the clay up.
So using my thumb with the fingers, okay, this finger is holding on the other side of uh, the spout. Um, use my thumb to squeeze the clay up. So after I thin it, I could make the spout an even little bit smaller. Consider the size of the teapot. Before I uh, cut it off, I usually like to uh, have my uh, spout a little bit of a uh, curve, meaning getting the curve like that. Okay, so I will bend it, but before I bend it, this the the surface a little bit too um, too wet, so I will have my finger mark if I try to bend it now, and also it's gonna be a little bit too wet to do that so uh, I usually use a torch or the uh, heat gun to dry it a little bit but you're gonna over dry it okay that make sure you just dry the surface so that the water is dry when you touch it you don't have the finger mark and then you have to stop you don't want to over dry it if you over dry it you won't be able to bend it nicely Okay, so now you see that I can touch it without making any uh, fingerprint on it. So that's the uh, stage I'm looking for. So I now cut it off. Uh, you can see I'm going to try to bend it. Okay, so I'm holding put my thumb underneath and then use the finger to try to bend it so that I will have a little curve for the spout And when I bend it, there's a little uh, indent here on this section, and uh, which doesn't that the curve doesn't follow nicely. So I would uh, cut this part open a little bit. So I am using my number ten tool to cut a small opening there. So my finger can go inside here. Okay, this ten here. And try to squeeze it so the curve will look a little bit better. So lightly bend it. And I can adjust a little bit more. Okay, so this is the uh, look of the spout, and you can see that there's a little curve, okay, a curve, so that the, the water, the tea on, on the inside, and it's easier to flow like a curve. So this is side, and uh, let it dry. 
and then um, I'm going to make my last section. The section is the uh, handle. And we're talk up, talking about the uh, sideways handle. So I'm going to make the handle right on the wheel. So basically uh, you are going to make a cylinder section a little bit smaller okay so this is where I'm going to joint okay this is going to be the joint and I'm making this part a little bit smaller So this is will be the uh, handle on the side. Uh, but I need to cut it uh, so that I will be able to uh, lift it up. So I am going to uh, push down so I will be able to cut it without ruining the shape. So I push down here so I'm going to cut from here. And actually, later on, the joint will be here. Okay, the joint will be here. But uh, I'm throwing the pedal stall so that after I cut it, I will be able to lift without uh, ruin the shape. Okay, so this 
so my finger can go underneath here and lift it without ruining the shape. So this will be the handle. And I will show you how to uh, put them together, trim and uh, assemble them together later.